Welcome to my first and hopefully not the last episode of Midas Makes, where I, Midas, make stuff. I want to make these videos to share my journey of making with the world so I can hopefully motivate and help others in their journey to become a maker and tinker their way to the future. So they can tinker their way to the future. In this episode, uh, I would like to turn an oiled oil lamp into a battery powered LED lamp. So I found this oiled oil lamp uh, while cleaning up uh, and as it turned out it was broken but I thought it still looks rather nice so why not recycle it and what better way to do that than to keep its function but try and make it a little bit more functional in these modern days. Uh, so I decided to use uh, or to make it into an uh, electrical device by using uh, LED lamps. Uh, I uh, got my inspiration for those LED lamps uh, from these light bulbs. Uh, they have uh, little LED, um, like 3 volt LED modules inside. Uh, and I tried to find those on the internet, and I did find those on the internet. So I used those to uh, create a lamp together with some AA batteries. Um, and I tried to connect all of those things, or I will try to connect all of those things together with some copper rods that I found in a local art store. So we'll see if that works out. At this point you can see that I broke my first LED module. It seemed that they were very brittle and every bit of tension on them was a bit too much. As a consequence, many followed, so if you attend this yourself, be very careful because they will break.
so now that I have uh, finished uh, this first version of my oil lamp, or now uh, a LED lamp uh, powered on AA batteries, um, it's time to reflect a little bit. Uh, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, it is a very bright light. Uh, it's very easy because AA batteries are uh, very easily to, to buy or to find. Uh, so it's a very practical uh, lamp to take with you uh, on camping or just have it in the garden uh, or, or do something else with it, I don't know. Um, but I also have uh, some uh, some things that I would like to do better in it. Uh, so it still has a hole in the bottom, which is not ideal, especially not if you go camping. I would prefer to make a lid. I don't quite know how I want to do that, but it is something uh, that I will think about and then revisit in the next episode, as well as the fact that I wanted to make it dimmable by using this uh, this knob uh, to connect this to a, a, pot a <laughs> potentiometer. Um, I already made the circuitry for this. Uh, I have a, a I even made uh, or, or I designed already a PCB, which of course didn't arrive yet. Uh, as this, uh, if you pick it as slow shipping, takes over a month uh, to, to get here. But also that, uh, that I also would like to revisit in a, a follow-up episode on this lamp. I don't know if it'll be the next or, or any other, but I will share all uh, those IDs on my Instructable. Uh, and I will also put uh, the, all the files that I used to, to make, uh, to make the, the dimmer for this lamp, uh, also available on Instructables. This was my first attempt uh, at a video. Uh, if you like uh, if you like the video, uh, please like and subscribe, because apparently you have to say this. Um, and also, if you have any ideas or any uh, comments or uh, ideas, yeah, ideas to make this these videos better, uh, please let me know through the comments or uh, send me an email at uh, midasmakes at hotmail.com. Uh, 